Hey everybody, it's Carl. Welcome to the dining room. We're not doing a shaving video today. It's going to be another episode of the meal prep mukbang. Seemed pretty well received, especially coupled with a hot sauce review, so I figured I'd make another episode. Episode? That seems a little pretentious. It's another video of me eating, tasting hot sauce. That's what we're doing. So, what's on the menu? Well, here I got my Tupperware. This is how I eat pretty much every day. Also, I live the spork life. That's right, sporks. Amazing invention. I've got five grams, or no, five ounces of center cut loin pork chop roasted. I've got 100 grams of sweet potatoes uh, roasted, 85 grams of broccoli, about 130 grams of mixed vegetables here. That gives me a meal total of about 330 calories with about 32 grams of protein. Now, let's get on with the star of the show because that's really what sells the meal prep mukbang. It's the hot sauce review. Today, I'm gonna be doing something uh, I've never tried before, and it's gonna be the first of my Mikey V's hot sauce reviews, um, or taste tests, or whatever you wanna call it, because you guys know I don't really do reviews. But Mikey V's is a local hot sauce shop here in town. Um, they make their own line of, of sauces. They also sell some nationally uh, recognized sauces. Uh, one of the bigger names that they carry is Hot Ones. It's an internet TV show where they interview folks and they eat hotter, gradually hotter wings. It's actually a really fun show to watch. I can recommend watching it if that's something you're interested in. Anyway, it's a cool little shop. I like to support their business anytime I can. So I bought a lot of their hot sauces and you'll probably be seeing more of them if I keep doing these things. This one is called Crack of Dawn. Um, it's got a pepper in it. I've actually never heard of it. I'll read the description to you. Let's see, it says, uh, inspired by my buddy Don. A Navy veteran and a hot sauce lover, I created this sauce to fit all of Don's favorite foods, eggs, pizza, burgers, sushis, and Hawaiian style pork, or poke, sorry, using a radiant yellow fatili pepper. I've never heard of a fatili pepper, so I got a little information from the internet for you. Um, and a hint of sun-ripened, sun-dried pineapple. So it's gonna have a little bit of sweetness, maybe cut the heat. The flavors burst in your mouth, the sauce, uh, the sauce promises an overall mouth burn that will awaken your endorphins. Well, hopefully it does. So beautiful yellow color, um, really cool label. And so the Fratelli pepper, this is what I found on the interwebs. It's a pepper that comes from South Africa. Is it South Africa? The Southern and Central Africa. Um, it's got, it's yellow. It's got a flavor similar, a flavor and a heat profile similar to a habanero and the Scoville heat unit is uh, or rating is between 125,000 and 400,000 Scoville heat units. So pretty hot pepper. Um, let's crack it open. It smells spicy. There's no sweetness in that scent at all. It smells like peppers. Ah, look, see, uh, I'm turning into a real hot sauce fanatic. I found a spoon. A non-reactive porcelain spoon. Actually, this was one of those cheap giveaway uh, coffee mug sets that came with a spoon for stirring stuff. Anyway, so I got a dab in there and we're just gonna give it the initial taste test. So right off the bat, the heat hits the back of the throat. The tongue is um, starting to tinkle. It's got a really nice flavor. There's actually a sweetness in it for sure. And uh, it's got an afterburn, definitely burns the back of the throat. So that'll be nice. And I chose this, this one today because it's got the pineapple. And um, pineapple and citrus is, in my opinion, pair really well with pork. So I'm just, this is gonna be about three teaspoons, just kind of mixed in the meal. I'm assuming that's about a teaspoon. On second taste, that's really nice. It's got a great flavor. Um, there's definitely some heat to it. I don't know if you can notice I'm starting to turn red and glisten a little bit. But that's a fantastic flavor. So, well, as you can see, it's America Day here in the United States. Happy Fourth of July. Happy Independence Day to all my friends out there. Um, yeah. I'm just kind of taking it easy. Typically I would go to a barbecue or something like that, but I wasn't invited to any. 
usually my brother hosts a shindig, but I think he's not hosting, so I didn't get the invite. And besides, you know, honestly, being kind of in and out of all the uh, the places I've been in, in and out of the past couple of weeks, I'm still not real comfortable hanging around a lot of folks. Um, so my boring life actually probably helps me in that respect. So I don't know if I haven't gotten to a, a bite that's got a lot of sauce on it yet, but I'm not really getting any heat. Um, or maybe I've hit the heat limit. I don't know. That's probably not a thing. Actually, I've eaten enough hot sauces to know that's not a thing. <laughs> All right, I think I was a little too stingy with the sauce because I'm not really getting any of it. So I'm gonna add a little bit more, just kind of all over the place. And then we'll give that a good mix. Um, it's a, I don't know if you saw that pour, it's a little bit on the thin side of the sauce, but that's okay. Speaking of, I'll tell you what, this scorpion pepper sauce, I have been loving it. I mean, about a quarter of the bottle is gone already. I've been eating that stuff on everything. If you haven't tried it, I can highly recommend it. And um, I got one of my coworkers. I took the bottle to work the other day. Actually, bought a bottle for the office. Gave him a taste. It burned him. He loved it. He went out and bought a bottle to, um, and posted it on his Facebook today. Highly recommending it. So give it a try if you can find it. Mm, much better. So yeah, <clears throat> just kind of taking it easy today. Not much going on. Um, got up this morning, did a seven mile ruck doing a scavenger hunt to earn one of the patches. Had a blast, it was hot and sweaty. Um, but it was a good ruck, I felt good. Back held up really nicely. So hopefully uh, I can get back into the, the routine of those things. I feel like I've been putting out a lot of YouTube content uh, lately. This is probably the most YouTube content I've put out in quite a while. Um, and I don't, I don't know how I feel about it. Am I becoming like a real YouTuber who puts out something almost every day? Maybe, I don't know. But it's been fun to make some of these videos. I wish I had more stuff to talk about, but like I said, I'm pretty boring. And uh, so who knows who will watch them? I, I can't say. If you watch them, I appreciate it. I appreciate I appreciate the time that you spend and the comments and all that good stuff. And if not, well, that's okay too. So I'm not I'm still not getting a ton of an overabundance of heat. I've, I've got some nice spicy flavor and some pineapple some sweet flavor but it's not over overpoweringly hot and I guess I should have read the ingredients before I started but I can't really read them on the bottle one because my eyes suck and with everything going on I haven't been able to go get glasses and two it's printed very small and three I don't know if you can see that but the font or the color of the ink on the color of the uh on the color of the wrapper is not very easy to see, in my opinion. Uh, let's see, white vinegar, cider vinegar, pineapple, yellow, red pepper, yellow and red peppers, onions, yellow, uh, uh, yellow uh, fatali pepper. Uh, let's see, yellow fatali pepper, raw sugar, Fresh garlic, lime juice, kosher salt, garlic powder, and orange peel. So nice citrusy uh, flavors to cut the heat. It's actually really complementing this pork very well. So I am happy with that. That is definitely something I will buy again once this bottle is gone. 
I think this would make a really good uh, mix in a marinade or something to put on like a roast, a pork roast. Um, so yeah, definitely um, awesome. You can order these sauces online if you're interested. I'm not sure how the shipping works, but I know he does have an online store and you can place an order if you want to give it a shot. It's very good. The meal itself is is kind of one of my standard meals, pretty boring. I cook real boring, real simple. That's how I've been able to lose weight. And when I stick to this way of eating, I can maintain my weight loss because um, it's just calorie and portion control. Make sure you get enough calories, make sure you get you know, the right number of calories, make sure you get enough protein. You can't go wrong with it. Double up on the veg because you can never go wrong with veg. And it, it's successful, I mean, you know, now I've gained some weight back, but I've lost 80 pounds since July of last year. Um, so it works. And you get used to it. I'm not going to lie. I get tired of eating the same thing four days in a row. And sometimes you want to eat a pizza or a burger. And if your calories are worked out right, you can do that. My problem is, is I eat the whole pizza or two hamburgers. But that's just because my brain's broken. Starting to get a little bit of sniffles. One lone drop of sweat right there. But like I said, the, the flavor is sweet and spicy. The heat is not overpowering. It's a great complement to the, to the meat and the vegetables, even the potatoes. And I ain't gonna lie, I'm not a huge fan of broccoli. I eat it because it's good for me and it's easy to come by. So any sauce that I put on it that makes it more palatable is a winner. And this is definitely a winner. So in addition to nationally recognized and um, store brand sauces, Mikey V's also sells some of the hot gimmicky stuff like the One Chip Challenge, um, the world's hottest gummy bear and things like that. And in the back of my mind, I'm like, man, I should try that. I want to see if I can do it. And uh, so maybe, maybe I'll do some of those spicy challenges um, on YouTube. I don't know yet. I'd just be another crazy guy on the internet eating something spicy, but hey. Right now, I'm just another crazy guy on the internet tasting hot sauces. We're making Shea videos, so why not add to the repertoire, right? <clears throat> but that being said, if you're, I have noticed and I've heard other people say that if your YouTube channel has too much varying content, it actually hurts the, the the algorithm and I'm not really worried about views and likes and all that kind of stuff but it's interesting that variety is look is frowned upon I don't know at least that's what they say but what's the old cliche variety is the spice of life this spice of life right here that's really good I like it I need some more Also, let me know what you guys think about videoing or filming in here. Um, I've got all my blinds drawn. It's roughly like one o'clock in the afternoon, two o'clock in the afternoon. Um, how's the 
How's the color? I feel like I'm a little bit uh, washed out, but that could be just because I'm wearing a white shirt. But other than that, it's actually better lighting than I thought. Let me know what you guys think if this works. Um, I'll keep doing them in here because, to be quite honest, just eating in the gym was weird. I mean, but then again, eating on camera is weird as well. That's, I'll tell you what, guys. I've got a couple of bites left. You guys don't need to finish me watching me do that. Let me just go ahead and finish it all up by saying Mikey V's Crack of Dawn. It's a nice tasting, flavorful sauce. It's got a little bit of heat. It's not overpowering. It's not terribly hot. Um, it's enough to make me break out in just a touch of sweat. The scorpion sauce was definitely a little more spicy. All I've got right now is just a little tingle on the lips and a little tingle on the tongue. But the flavor definitely is greater than the heat. I can highly recommend this sauce. Um, I'll definitely use the rest of this bottle and probably buy another bottle when it's done. So I'm going to finish this off camera. Once again, as always, I appreciate you guys popping in and spending a little bit of time with me. Um, have a great weekend. Happy 4th of July. Happy Independence Day to uh, those of you here in the States. Sorry I missed it the other day. Happy Canada Day, um, the second, to all my Canadian friends. Anyway, I'm going to log off. Thanks again for watching. Thanks for uh, all your support in these videos and the shaving videos. Um, as always, no matter what you do, go spend some time with your friends and family because it's really important during these days. Make sure it's six feet apart. And wear your stinking masks. Um, it makes a difference. Uh, I hate them but they work, no matter what anybody says. It's the smart thing to do. That's all I got. Once again, thank you very much. Have a great weekend. I'll see you next time. God bless.